So today I am going to be signing a whole bunch of canvases for something different and they've asked me to sign these canvases and talk a little bit about my artwork and in particular Hocus Pocus. This is Hocus Pocus here. Give you a good look at it there. So I'm going to be signing these today. So I'm just going to sign one here just to show you. So I've got a whole bunch of these to sign. So um, with my artwork, I have a whole bunch of sketches like this. Little thumbnail sketches um, to show you up close. This one ended up being fairy tales. So I have a whole bunch of little thumbnail sketches and they are teeny, teeny, tiny. Um, a lot of them and little notes as well. So I'm always bombarded with images and I can never relax. So what I do is just quickly jot them down and then I start making them into artworks and get them to reference together. With um, Hocus Pocus in particular, I have a lot of younger um, followers. And one day, um, one of my Cocker Spaniels was holding one of my paintbrushes and I thought, oh, that's so cute. And I just visualized um, the cat with wand. So from that, obviously um, I pieced all the composition together. I really like painting glass. So um, I put some glass bottles in with it. Also, it was in particular, it was designed for jigsaw puzzles. So they really wanted high color. So there's lots and lots of colors in there. In the book, that took me the longest because that's all handwritten, all the text. So every text that's in every single artwork is all handwritten by myself. So all the spells are handwritten. And in the book, actually the text depicts where you can get all your spells from. And each one leads you back to the Lisa Parker Magical Emporium. So that's where the, um, the inspiration came from for the Magical Emporium after this the artwork here and what's written in the book. So yeah, this is Hocus Pocus. The reference for the cat was actually from my cat, um, Kia, that sadly passed away quite a long, about 20 years ago. She, I had her when I was about 22. So um, she was only a young cat. She was only about eight years old when she died, unfortunately, but she was a blue Siamese cross. So she was more like this color, like this color. So I actually um, added all the seal point coloration on there. And the eye color obviously was a very, very different blue from the rest of the blue around just to give it a focal point. So this is Hocus Pocus. It's one of my most popular artworks at the moment, in particular on the glasses cases for something different, canvas for something different and um, puzzles. It's very popular on puzzles and figurines. So this is Hocus Pocus.